Hey guys, it's Deli here again with another speed build. Um, I'm excited for today's speed build because it's a little bit different. Um, as a lot of you are probably used to, I like to create sim families to design my houses for. And today I've decided to put a little bit of a storyline at the beginning um, because I am building for a very special family called the Gurus who have lived in Bridgeport. Here is Graham Guru, who may look slightly familiar to some of you. He's a workaholic and he's thinking about moving to a more relaxing place. Uh, Sarah Guru here is in that awkward, rebellious teenager stage and kind of needs to calm down a little bit. <laughs> and uh, here is Ryan Guru, who's having a bit of an identity crisis just before he's meant to be aging up. There is also Guru Copeland, who's just in struggle town right now and needs uh, probably to blow off that extra steam in some other activity. So basically, I've moved them to another town that is, uh, in my opinion, more beautiful and more pristine. Um, my favorite world called Isla Paradiso from Island Paradise. I love this town, it's just so beautiful. And this is the house I've created for them. Um, I'm showing it first, but don't worry, I will show the speed build just in a little while. But I had a few requests to create a beachy family home, so I went ahead with that. Basically, there's a lot of um, pastel colours, light colours to kind of reflect the beachside environment. And uh, here they all are eating dinner together um, in the home and taking a stroll through one of the living areas where you can see there's a lot of grey wood that kind of looks like wood that might have been washed up onto the beach. And here is Graham enjoying just the serenity as he paddles by on his paddle boat and enjoys some pool um, away from his workaholic schedule which I think everyone needs to let loose. <laughs> so here he is streaking around the house in excitement for moving in. Um, and this is a home office that I made uh, where they can work on some very exciting things. Um, and The Sims 4, which, oh my god, I cannot wait. So as you can see, he's looking pretty excited as well. Um, I think that's an excited gesture. I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> but um, here is one of the bedrooms or the master bedroom. Um, you can see the light colors used there. And Sarah Guru is um, living a more relaxed lifestyle here, being near the beach. Her socializing isn't as rebellious as you can see here. And I do love this room actually. It's um, probably my favorite room in the house. It suits her purple hair. And Ryan Guru has aged up and he is found what he wants to do in life and that he's a green thumb and loves growing onions. <laughs> if you watched the live broadcast a little while ago, um, you might understand that reference. And here is Copeland Guru who has found another way to have fun and instead of ruining the furnishings in the house. So working on the ceiling here, this is the speed build part of the video and first of all I started with the lounge room picking out a carpet. I wanted something uh, bright and geometric uh, to begin with but in the end I actually go for kind of like a cow, uh, cow skin pattern I suppose. But I really like these mint couches. I, I actually haven't done anything in mint on The Sims before, so that's something a little bit different. <laughs> and um, I've obviously clustered those lights above the lounge area in a couple of different colors. Um, but because green and red are complementary colors, I figured that, you know, a lighter green, aka a mint green, would go really nicely with salmon, like it just balances it out. And with the gray, it I think it creates a, a really nicely balanced room and with a hint of lemon in there and that pot plant. I don't know, I don't mind it. It's it's different. It's unusual. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you guys have seen this Australian show called Kath and Kim, but that is a quote from that. It's really funny if you haven't watched it. Anyway, uh, moving on to the kitchen here and I've gone with a like a blue, a really light blue metal uh, countertop and I thought that was quite nice because it represents the sea because it's blue obviously and an island kitchen bench there with 
two sinks, uh, just to be a little bit fancy. And putting these tables in here for the gurus to dine at. Looks quite nice, clustered together in a square shape. Or not clustered, put together in a square shape. And these range hoods are so awesome. I think I've said this before in a video, but I love that they added range hoods to the game. I really hope they have more elaborate ones in The Sims 4 because it just makes the kitchen look so much better. If I did use custom content in my game, which I, I choose not to, uh, I would be downloading range hoods for sure. Um, and then here is the office, which was very important to include as the gurus are obviously computer wizards. There's also an easel in there and an architecture draft table uh, for the more arty sim gurus. And doing sim guru Graham's room here, I don't know what kind of taste Graham would have in real life, but I thought this was nice for a beach holiday house at least to escape to with the lighter colours. And I kind of tried this new thing, uh, putting a dining table kind of over the bed. It was inspired by Ikea, which I love going to Ikea, it is the best place ever. Uh, so much fun. But they have these benches that you're meant to put over your beds and they're kind of on wheels. I don't know. Different, different, but cool. And this pool table is pretty snazzy. It's not your typical dark pool table with like a forest green color. It's light wood with a mint green uh, color, which I do like very much. And this sitting area, there's no TV. It's just for Sims to socialize on. Uh, but I do like the flowers clustered in the middle there. I use the word cluster a lot. <laughs> um, but in the middle there, I think they look quite nice. And these chairs have a very vibrant orange on them just to kind of give that punch of color into the room. Otherwise the house would be kind of too pastel-y I think uh, without some rich colors. Love that tea set from the store. That's pretty useful. I do use it a lot actually. And the beloved ottoman which I use so much. That's great. Hopefully uh, another thing for The Sims 4 would be cool if The Sims could actually sit on the Ottomans, like the Ottomans were chairs, not um, coffee tables. That would be nice as well. This wall was so annoying. I was trying to put painting after painting on it and in the end I just put windows there because nothing worked. Uh, when in doubt, just put windows in. I, I think that fixes a lot of life's problems, <laughs> at least on The Sims. And there's the windows that go in. Also on the side of the house there, you saw a hint of um, these big kind of square walls kind of attached to the side of the house. I thought that was interesting architecturally. And this is little Ryan's room who loves onions. So of course he had to have a vegetable themed bedspread. Do watch the live broadcast if you don't know what I'm talking about. It was quite funny. It did make me giggle. <laughs> uh, but yes, he has lots of plants in his room because he grows up to have the green thumb trait. And also I just putting some kids toys in, lots of posters there and using the by debug cheat. If you're not familiar with it, basically it allows you to put objects that you're not supposed to buy in the game. They're meant to occur in the game. Uh, you can just grab them using that cheat and put them on the floor. Uh, scattered toys, that's what I did. And this is Sarah's room. I, I didn't want it to be the usual kind of fluffy pink girl's room. I wanted it to kind of have a darkness to it and kind of a sophistication about it. So I went with this kind of purple and green color scheme. And I think this is my favorite room in the house. I, I like it a lot. I think it suits uh, the character with her uh, pink and purple hair. Also just putting some paintings on the bottom of the wall here just to make it look like they're leaning on the ground. Here are some screenshots to finish off the video and uh, I usually do a walkthrough of my houses but I I was just running out of room on my computer. I need to clear it out a bit so hopefully still images are okay. Uh, you might even like them better so do let me know if you appreciate these screenshots at the end. If you would like to follow me on Twitter, uh, I am at Deligracy. I'd love to have a chat or a chinwag and uh, hopefully I'll have some videos up soon. 
Hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are. And I will speak to you soon. Bye.